All right, so we have more treasures to show you, if you still want to call them treasures at this point. I'm here to tackle the kitchen. At least part of it. Let's see how far I get. We bought everything, the house, its contents, the car, and the overgrown yard. Before renovations can begin, it's up to us to sort it all out. If you've been watching, then you've seen the full house tour of our 1923 Mediterranean Revival home. If you missed that video, be sure to go back and check it out in episode 14. But today, we're going to focus on the kitchen. This is what the kitchen looked like when we closed on the house back in July. It was full of all kinds of stuff. The appliances were broken, the cabinets were particle board and basically disintegrating before our eyes, but we knew that behind these doors were a lot of really cool things too. So we wanted to be sure to sort through everything before we started our demo. I am sorry about the quality of this video. It was shot mainly with my iPhone because that's what we had at the time. And I know sometimes it can be hard to understand us when we're talking through our respirators, but the house was so moldy and so smelly that at the time that was the only safe way we could record this. So bear with us. And one more thing, if you've ever wondered why we call ourselves Cicada & Co, be sure to stick around to the end and you'll find out. And we never know when we open a cabinet who we might find living inside. So it's really, it's really quite interesting. Ooh, and there's some pretty teacups in there. So this is gonna be fun going through the kitchen. And scary. And fun. Look at this irony. <laughs> Sage wound. Hey, look at this. Ooh, score. Oh, that's nice. Except the little rats have been oh. nibbling. The coffee grinder. I might get something out of it. Oh, okay. Ooh, coffee. But we do have this this coffee grinder is pretty cool. It's still got the logo on it, which is nice. Um, but there is some rust on the cast iron, and lo and behold, there are beans in there. She actually used it as coffee grinder. You see the ashtray? No, where is it? I looked it up, and apparently. You can only get that if you are a club member. Mm. Why don't you put it on the table with other things to keep for self? Hmm. Little silver cup. Now this is cute, 1971 kitty cat calendar tea towel. I'm going to wash that. This is old. Rubber bands. Interesting. Huh. 
Looks like somebody handmade this. It's cute. But he's got some chips. And I'm going to open this cupboard over here. I'm a little worried. Never know what's going to come out. Or who's going to be in there. This is cool. I love these old juicers, citrus juicer. I have one, I use it every day. Let's take a closer look. We have these cute pineapple glasses. We have about six of each of these. Come over here and take a look up above the stove. So that is. Meanwhile, in the other room. So this morning, I'm going to take down all the curtains. I think that's another big source of mold. It's starting to smell even better in here uh, every day. And here's a cool feature that I'd like to restore. This is actually a mail drop. You can see right here that they uh, painted over it at some point. Understandable because I don't think the mail carrier wants to come all the way down this driveway to uh, deliver junk mail. This is what was in the Macy's bag. Two plates.
just need to get this door open. This little door goes to. <laughs> There's a little door in here. Yes, called the buried gold. No, it just goes outside. Yeah, it just goes outside, but it's closed. But look, there's a little hinge here. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't know what. It's so weird. Is that the new dog door? It could be. If we could ever get it open. <laughs> if I could get out the back, I could find out what's going on behind it. But... Oh, I forgot. I haven't even been in here. Man, she had a lot of security systems. Ooh, look at this little bird. How cool is that? Oh, look at this. I saw that a while ago, but stuff up there. We'll take covers and things. Your little dog swizzle sticks. A whole bunch of little dogs. Okay, we have a selection of swizzle sticks from the kitchen. These are plain glass, and then this set up here is a selection of vintage plastic swizzle sticks. This is El Quixote, that's from New York. Um, not sure what this one is. This is from Denmark. This one says Americana. These two are from the French line, transatlantic. And then these two cool, they look like um, branches. And I'm trying to see what that says. Oh, this says Afropack. And this one is from the Belmont Plaza Hotel in New York. Then we have this set that is glass and they're really cute. They have a little dog head on the top of the stick. It's like a million vintage ash ashtrays in here. I'll cut some trees down outside this window the other day and it really opened up the kitchen a lot. A lot more light in here now. It was just like a cave before. Now it's got some pretty nice light and that was just two little bushes. Uh, there's a lot more to go. So, oh, this is interesting. Everything here is like so old. It's like it all came with the house from 1923, but there have been multiple owners here. Marie just liked antiques, I guess. Oh, 
this is interesting. I wonder what this goes to. Ugh. There's so much sweat dripping down inside my mask that it feels like something's crawling on me. But it's just sweat. It's not old, it's just gross. She has a bunch of little egg cups. So cute. yelled at me from back there that the house does not smell any better. Vintage measuring spoons from New York City. Ooh, okay. I just figured it out. There's a whole bunch of these and then there's a whole bunch of these up in the cabinet and they go together. This is the oldest screwdriver. These are cute. It's a little French teacup. That's adorable. These look really old. They are from France and we looked them up. It's called Rambling Rose and they're from the 1930s. The glaze is cracked. They're really cute though. Dinaware. Super cool. Yeah. Pyro Ray. So what's been going on up there? What'd you find? Uh, I've been spraying mold. How's it going? Uh, it's killing it. How can you tell? Because it's disappearing. <laughs> it changes color and then it disappears. Oh. That's good news. <laughs> Those little frogs and toads all over this house. Cheese and grapes. Cheese. 
Hello, Kevin. Good morning. Oh, all set. This kind of earthenware. I assume this is for maybe sugar, different things. Um, it's got a neat little handle on it. This little little pitcher. And this little guy here, which I don't think belongs to these. They're obviously a little, slightly different. Um, but what I thought was cool is that it does have, uh, the lid has like a little um, connection piece on it so you can pour it and let it fall off. Bunch of old platters. This one looks really old. Pretty buffalo pottery. This one's actually really cute, but it has a chip in it. Probably because it was a favorite. Then we have these French onion soup bowls, a set of six. They're all in really great condition and they are oven proof. I found a key, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ace. Probably a Safety deposit box key in the envelope. <laughs> Empty. You're pretty. Hmm. A cordial glass. Pyrex. Okay, this is a little scary. I'm trying to get what's in this bottom cabinet. It's just gross and 
the cabinet goes like way back. So I'll like put my arm back there to get that stuff. I don't know. I'm gonna see what I can do, but this is a little, a little creepy. So the shelf like fell as I was trying to get in there. I have a box in here, but it's just a box of just a box of old crystal glasses. And then like a million different kinds of coffee grinders. <laughs> Marie definitely likes coffee. <sighs> Damn, I'm so sweaty. It's getting dark out. This is kind of what I've managed to do. There's still a little bit of stuff up here. Um, just like her plates and stuff. I think they pulled out most of the interesting things. There's some more of those crystal glasses up on the top there. But I can't reach them. Hal's gonna have to pull those down or I need to find a step stool somewhere in this house. Um, Hal's gonna scrap some metal tomorrow, so he's gonna rip out the stove and the oven, take the fridge out. And so I piled up some other metal things over here that he can take when he goes to scrap that stuff. This continues to be overwhelming, but definitely made a dent tonight. So that's good. Um, but table full of treasures over here. I'm go out and see if the eyes are starting to burn a little bit, which can't be good. So I'm going to go outside and get some fresh air. See what hell's up to out here. The cicadas are so loud tonight. Where are you? Ow. Oh, I was wondering where you, where are you? Oh. <laughs> so, we can't even take our respirators off when we're outside because the house just smells that bad that it's just like coming out of the windows and doors. Spraying some mold stuff. Yeah, okay. You about ready to go? Yeah. I think that's it for now. I'm gonna go turn out the lights inside and shut the windows up and... Ah! So weirdo. Yeah. My weirdo. You bought a house with a weirdo. Next time on Cicada & Co. Kitchen Clean Out Part 2. Make sure the snake isn't in there. There's something under the fallen shelf, like some kind of bag. Yeah. These are heavy. How oh, heavy this is.